That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. Complete coverage on the way with EA TV. Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers and they take on Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Declan Rice. Oh, well, that's a final real chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Delivering it. Well, not the best clearance. Gabriel Jesus. Ben White. Oh, great defending. Well, he's a player well capable of running riot. Martin Odegaard. Interested to know what you think he might deliver today. Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques. He can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his foot around it, or just chip it over the wall. He'll certainly score goals if given the chance today. And options in the centre. Cunha. Textbook defending inside the box. Osaka. Oh, tremendous vision. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Ryan Ait Nuri. Stop a decent looking attack. William Saliba. Now with Jesus. An encouraging Arsenal move. Declan Rice. Gabriel. Martinelli. Oh, big opportunity. He succeeds in clearing it. Intercepting it intelligently. Pablo Sarabia. Ryan Ait Nuri. Well, a bad pass it was. Declan Rice. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Chance to put them in front. And the ball is loose. And able to get a body in the way. He's fired over the corner. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that.
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Max Kilman. Lemina. In possession, Dawson. Max Kilman. Pablo Sarabia. Outdoing his opponent. Lemina. Opportunity. Marvellous anticipation. Gabriel Martinelli. Martin Odegaard. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Is this the moment? Full credit. Wonderful stop. Corner played into the box. Well, not away properly. Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, just look at this again. It's a great finish. He just caresses the ball beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. And a decent position for Wolves to be in. And they could eat into the lead. Oh, my word! A glorious chance! Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. for the short corner it's one corner after another well could this be the turning point the fans are certainly hoping so corner kick played in and swept off the line Wang Hee Chan Opportunity here, and it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the game continues, and Wolves can now go hunting for an equaliser. Gabriel. Rice with it. Martin Erdogan. Havertz. Very quick thinking there. Encouraging move from Wolves. Fans are screaming, have a go. And he got a good palm on it. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Gabriel Martinelli. And it's Gabriel Jesus. his man is this the moment no more time left that will conclude the first half here at Molyneux well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart 
Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And the ball rolling again. Wolves trailing after the first half. Can they find a response here in the second? Well, the ball back with Wolves here. Pablo Sarabia. Nelson Tomato has it. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Wolves looking dangerous. Sarabia. Continues his run. Cutting the ball back. Oh, so near. Off the post. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, I have to say, I thought they'd equalise there. But Wolves are starting to be a real threat here. possibilities but a crucial intervention inside the box Nelson Semedo Max Kilman so a half an hour remaining can he finish that was going in, making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. He has teammates around him. Gives it a go. Tremendous block. Gabriel. Declan Rice. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Sarabia. Here's Lamina. And Wolves in a position of menace. But really sticking to their task defensively. position well this is a very tidy finish as you can see he's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly it's an excellent goal Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Lemina. Pablo Sarabia. Making a bit of headway. Nelson Semedo. Could reduce the deficit. Well, the 
keeper in possession to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. Lemina. Visualization and execution. Can he put it away? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Saka couldn't hit this any better. What a great finish this is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Just ten minutes remaining here. Mateus Cunha. It's looking promising. Sends it back. He must finish! A smart stop here. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal are cruising, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Cunha. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, big opportunity! but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. The current scoreline, 4-2. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Alexander Zinchenko. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. Havertz. Pulls it back. Will it be? Grabs off the keeper. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.